<laughs> okay, make sure you have signed into the chat, please. We have 18 people. Hopefully we'll get the rest in before we start. 18 people. Okay. Make sure you sign into the chat. All right. We'll give it a minute. 19 people. That's good. All right, I need to remind some of you that if you're not at the eight o'clock meeting, when I do attendance, it looks like you're absent. So you need to make sure that you get yourself up and get to that eight o'clock meeting. That's the only way that you're marked here. Otherwise, when we get done with this meeting, I have to call and tell them that you were in this meeting, okay? And I don't know if they mark you tardy but you try to be at the eight o'clock meeting so then you don't have any problems with it. Yes, ma'am, you have a question? You gotta unmute yourself, sweetie. Okay, then don't unmute yourself. Hold on. Do you see it? It's at the bottom of your screen. Iris, do you see it? What was your question, sweetie? I know you're asking me something, but I can't hear you. Let me see if it's mine. No, I'm turned up loud. If you think about it, you can put it in the chat and I'll try to answer you, okay? Great. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna make sure everybody is muted. There you go. Good, everybody got a whiteboard? Everybody hold up your whiteboard. Put your toys away. Everybody hold up your whiteboard. Great. Good job. Whiteboard, whiteboard, yes. Lily's disappeared, Jaden's disappeared. Whiteboard. Sweet. Nice. Who's telling me that? Lil, okay, baby, get a big, get a piece of paper, and you're just gonna write really big on your paper. Like if you have a marker, Lily, it'll it'll show up on the paper better than a pencil. Okay, it just means you'll have to use more paper. Okay, all right, all right. Again, my projector's not working yet. They said they're coming to fix it today, so. Hopefully today will be the day. I'm gonna be excited if they fix it. It'll make it easier. All right, here is our number of the day. Here is our number of the day. Can everybody see that number? Yes? Perfect, perfect. That's our number of the day. All right, what is the value? What is the value? Think about what I'm asking you. Write it on your whiteboard. What is the value of the two? What is the value of the two? Put it on your whiteboard. Put your whiteboard up. Teachers, I need Ms. Hernandez, Ms. Casablanco, and Ms. Hernandez to please do attendance. Thank you. Value of the two. Very good. Very good, Natalie. Very good. The value of the two. Good job, Hunter. Le Leanna, I can't can't see it so you gotta write it really dark the value of the two charlie the value value means if i was gonna give you five dollars 
the value is five dollars value is how much the number is worth okay look at it again what's the value of the two the value of the two good job bella thank you the value of the two alexander thank you very much sophia what you got for me yes ma'am very good very good yes natalie thank you very much brooklyn what you got for me the value of the two yes ma'am very good very good the value of the two the value of the two in our number right here the value yes thank you lily thank you very much anthony what you're going to show me the value of the two okay the value of the two make sure you sign into the chat the value of the two per yep okay then mute yourself okay the value of the two very good hold on I'm waiting for anthony to show it to me guys if your camera is not on then i can't see what your answer is and i can't check it very good good job okay everybody erase that now I want the value, thank you, thank you, Anthony, the value of the five, the value of the five. What's the value of the five? Alexander, Samuel, can you guys turn your cameras on? Charlie, Brayden, who's ever on their iPhone? Good job, very nice, very nice. Very Okay, if you look in the bottom of the um, Zoom room, you'll see there's two things on the left. It says mute and it says stop, it says video. It looks like a video camera. If you click that, and there's no camera next to it, You had to turn on your camera. Sometimes when people turn on, very good, those of you that are showing me your value, very good. Yes, nobody's got a problem with it. Good job. Okay, we might have to work on it later or you may have to call technology to find out how to turn that camera on because we need that camera. Very good, Alexander. Okay, everybody erase it. Now, listen to my question. What digit, remember we talked about that word yesterday? Do you remember it? Digit, digit, remember? Digit, what digit is in the tens place? 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 Okay, we're not saying it out loud. If you don't have a camera, I'm sorry, but we can't say it out loud, okay? What digit is in the tens place? Very good, very good, very good. Those of you that are showing me, that's right. This place is called the ones place. This place is called the tens place. So the digit in the tens place is a two. Very good, very good, very good. I like it. All right, everybody, let me keep that number up there because that's still our number. Draw a clock, not a digital, a nice analog clock. Draw me a clock. Show me what time would it be using those digits? Show me what time it would be using those digits. Very good, very good. Got some people, not a digital clock. I need an analog. I need a circle clock with the dots and the hands. What time would it be using those digits? What time would it be? What time would it be? Let's see what we got. Let's see. 
What time would it be? Show me your clock. Oh, I like it, Alexander. Thank you. You can erase yours. Very good. Lily, hold it a little closer for me, baby. Oh, oops, it moved. <laughs> yep. Yes, very good, Natalie. Good job. Yes. Yes, everybody that showed me their clock so far is perfect. Good job, Hunter. Yes. What do we got? What do we got? Good job, Charlie. Thank you. No, that's a digital. Wait, wait, wait. Move your paper down a little bit. I can see it, Leanna. Move your paper down a little bit. Yeah, almost. You're almost there. Who's that? Anthony, let me see yours. Good job, Anthony. All right. Let me see yours, Natalie. You don't have any paper? Go get some paper. Go get, go get paper and a pencil. You have to bring it every time we have our meetings for math. Yes, all right, let's talk it through. Up here, everybody unmute yourself so I can hear everybody. Everybody unmute yourself. But don't talk until I ask a question, okay? No saying hi, just hold on until I ask a question. Okay, what's at the top? What goes to the top? Only one person answered. Everybody answer. What goes at the top? 12. What goes at the bottom? Bottom. Good. What goes over here? Good job. What goes over here? Nine. Good. Which hand is going to point to 21? Big or small? Which hand is going to point to 21? Big or small? Big. Okay. So I'm going to put my four and my five in. I'm going to mute you all again. Okay. I'm going to put my four and my five in. This is 15. This is 20. We need 21. So it's just going to point to one little spot after here. Big hand is going to point to there. Okay. Small hand. Small hand is going to point to the hour. And this is the hour. So it tells us we're gonna point that right there. Now, oops, I need to make it smaller than the big hand. There we go. So it should have looked something like that. All right, we're not done with this number yet. Let me fix it though, 521, 521, 521, 521. All right, here's the next thing I want you to do. I want you to find the sum of the digits, the sum of the digits. They're on the board. The sum of the digits. Don't mute your mic, please. The sum of the digits. Okay. Let's see. The sum of the digits. All right. Alexander, unmute yourself. Tell me what sum means. What does the sum mean? Yes. So what was it? What kind of operation are we doing? Good job. The sum means when we add them up. So show me your sum of the digits. Good job, Lily. The sum of the digits. The sum of the digits. What does it mean to do? It means to add them up. 
The sum of the digits means we're going to add them up. Good job, Alexander. The sum of the digits. Anthony, I need the sum of the digits. Yes, good job, Callie. Elisa, what do you got? Good job, Lily. Thank you. Natalie, try one more time. Lisa, let me see. Um, try one more time. Kai, what you got for me? Leanna, try one more time. Hunter, try one more time. Good job, Anthony. Kai, what you got? The sum of the digits, Kai. Jackson, what you got? I like to see it, Jackson. Your face is there. Good job. Good job, Brindley. The sum of the digits means we're going to say 5 plus 2 plus 1. 5 and 2 is 7 plus 1 is 8. 8. Okay, that was the sum. Sum means to add. All right, now let's look at the next one. We're gonna find the, mute yourself please. We're gonna find the product, the product of the digits. The product of the digits. The product of the digits. Jaden, what's the product? Unmute yourself Jaden and tell me what the product is. The product. You want to phone a friend? Look who's on the screen. See who can help you. Who do you want to help you? Amy, what's the product of the digits? What's product mean? Close, that's That, that's, that's close. Amy, who do you, Amy, who do you want to help you? Because you're close. Not exactly. Who do you want to help you? Look at the screen and pick somebody. Alex, what does product mean? Yes. Yes. Product means to multiply. Product means to multiply. So show me the product. Good job, Lily. Good job. Show me the product of the digits. The product of the digits. Uh, yep. Yep, good job, good job. So instead of the plus sign, we're gonna say it's five times two times one. Five times two times one. What you got? Everybody show me. Yep. Sophia, try again. Yep, good job, Bella, thank you. Yes, good job, Kai. Thank you. Jackson, what do you got for an answer? Jaden, what do you got for an answer? Good job, Elisa. Thank you. Hunter, hold it up a little higher. Okay, let's look at it again, Hunter. Oh, look again, Natalie, we're multiplying. All right, here we go, let's look at it. What is two times five? 10, 10 times one, 10. So our answer is 10, our answer is 10. All right. 
All right, here we go. All right, I am going to show you something that all of you in um, be, when we when you leave this chat, I mean when you leave this meeting, what you're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to share my screen with you. All right, when you go into your Canvas class today, and you go into math. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes? Thumbs up if you can see my screen. Great. When you go into your um, math today, you're gonna see something that says Digital Interactive Notebook, okay? And you're gonna click right here. This is not an assignment. This is something that we are going to use, okay? I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the beginning. This is what it looks like in the beginning. It has a table of contents. And then the second page you're gonna see has some place value blocks, okay? And we are going to be able to use these place value blocks when we use our digital interactive notebook, okay? All right, so let me get back out of there. All right, hang on one second. Something's playing on my other computer. Nope, it's good. Okay. All right. What we are going to talk about today is what happens when we multiply by 10, okay? When I ask you, everybody got your whiteboard? If I asked you to put a four in the 10,000s place, write a number with four in the 10,000s place four in the ten thousands place. What, what do you think I mean? Write it down and I'll see if, if you know. Four, you're gonna write a number with four in the ten thousands place. Yep, yep. So far so good. Four in the ten thousands place. Yes. All right, look up here. Four in the ten thousands place. This is what I said, four in the ten thousands place. So we could write any number that we wanted to as long as the four is in the ten thousands place. It could be any number. It could be this number. Oops, here, let's put this. Oh, let's put a let's put a one in there. All of these numbers show four in the ten thousands place. Okay, in the ten thousands place. Everybody good with that? This is the place. Now, if I asked you what's the value of the four. What's the value of the four? Remember the four, when I say value, it's like how much did it cost or what's that number actually? So if we said, what's the value of that four? The value of that four is 40,000. What's the value of this four? Is it the same or different? Thumbs up for the same, thumbs down for different. Thumbs up for the same, thumbs down for different. Is it the same or different? What's the value of this four? The value of this four is 40,000. It's exactly the same. All right, what about this four? What's the value of that four? The same or different? The same or different? The same or different? 
Good. The value of this 4 is exactly the same. All right, well, let's look at this 4. What's the value of that 4? Is it the same or different? The same or different? Got to see a thumb. Kai, what do you think? The value of that 4, the same or different? The same or different? Thumbs up, the same. Thumbs down for different. The value of this 4 is exactly the same. All the fours are, represent 40,000. Their value is 40,000. All right, let's look at another one. Let's show an eight in the hundred thousand. Write a number with an eight in the hundred thousand. Write a number with an eight in the hundred thousand. Show it to me. Very nice, Lily. Good job. Bella, what you got? Oh, good job, Alexander. Thank you, Kai. Thank you, Sophia. What you got? Good job, Brenly. Ooh, Lisa, I can't. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, oh, almost got it. I th yes, I think so. In the, he, look at it again, Hunter. Look at it again, Leanna. Look at it again, Charlie. Good job, Natalie. Amy, what you got for me? 800,000. An eight in the 100,000. Yes. Alexander, what do you got? Did I see yours? Iris, what do you got? Oh, good job, Alexander. Samuel, let me see what you got. Hmm. Anthony, try again. Iris, what do you got? Kai, what do you got? Good job, Bella. Let me see Amy move it closer. Yes, yours comes up backwards every time. Um, Charlie, try again. Hmm. Hunter, what's the, let me see that, the last part of it. Is that a zero at the end or a number at the end? Brooklyn, what do you got for a number? Oh, there we go, Hunter. Thank you. Well, Lisa, let me see. Come in close. Did I look at yours? Let me see, Jaden. Hmm, Anthony, try again. Thanks, Jaden. Good. Good job. All right, so I'm going to pick some. Let's see. If I wrote eight, three, four, two, one, nine. Thumbs up. Is my eight in the hundred thousands? Thumbs down. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Look at my number. Here's my number. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yes, it is or no, it isn't. Oh, I like your thumb, Kai. <laughs> Yes, it is. Very good. Okay, now I'm going to do this one. Um, is my eight in the hundred thousands? Thumbs up, yes. Thumbs down, no. Thumbs up, yes. Thumbs down, no. Very good. You're right. It is not. It is not. Let me get rid of that one. How about this? How about this? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Yes. Thumbs up. Very good, very good. 
Okay. What is the value of that eight? Write it on your paper. What is the value of that eight? What is the value of that eight? Yes. What is the value of that eight? Oh, very nice. Good job. The value of that eight is 800,000. That's right. The value of that eight is 800,000. What is the value of this eight? What is the value of this eight? What is the value? Yes, very good, very good. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. Super, you got it. The value of this eight is 800,002. That's right, you've got it now. All right, perfect, let's move on from here. All right, erase your whiteboard. If you're on a piece of paper, you might want to get a new one out. All right, we're gonna look at a pattern, okay? So I want you to write this down. I want you to write down 10 times three. And then underneath that, I want you to write 10 times 30. And then underneath that, I want you to write 10 times 300. And then underneath that, I want you to write 10 times 3,000. And then underneath that, I want you to write 10 times, you ready? 30,000. Okay, so 10 times three, 10 times 30, 10 times 300, 10 times 3,000, and 10 times 30,000. All right, you got it. Oh, good job. I see you guys got it written down. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. You're using that whiteboard. Good job. Very nice. All right. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go. Give me a thumbs up if you've written them all down. Yeah. Natalie, get writing. Come on, you can do it. Thumbs up if you're all done writing them. <laughs> I like how you put it on the screen, Sophia. Good job. Um, right now, we only went to 30,000. No, no, only the 30,000. All right. Now, let's take a look at this pattern. Okay. 10 times 3. Everybody put that answer on your board. 10 times 3. Everybody agree with that? Everybody good? Perfect. No, you're not good with that guy. You don't think that's right? 10 times three is not 30? <laughs> oh, okay. All right, now let's look at the next one. We have 10 times 30. 10 times 30. What do you think that answer is going to be? What do you think that answer is going to be? Let me see what somebody put. Ms. Bettis, can you please come to the office? Oh, yes. Some of you, good. You're right on target. That's right. 10 times 30 is 300. Hey, did you notice anything yet? 
We'll keep going. Oof. Well, you, you, the pattern, you're right. You do have a three in each one. In this one, we have one zero. And in this one, how many zeros do we have? Oh, yes, perfect. All right, so let's look at the next one. What number, show me with your fingers, what number is the answer gonna start with? What digit is gonna be there? What numeral? Yes, I agree. Now, how many zeros do you think we're gonna need? How many zeros, show me with your fingers, how many zeros do you think we're gonna need? Jaden, I like it. Good job, Alexander. Super, Elisa. Look at it carefully. Friendly, consider your answer. Kai, consider your answer. Oh, Jaden, consider your answer. Oh, Bella, consider your answer. Look at here. There, there was one zero here. There was one in the answer. <gasps> There was one, two here. Look what happened in the answer. Oh my goodness. Look, there's one, two, three. So how many are gonna be in the answer? One, two, three. Ooh. Oh. All right. Yes. Okay, what's it gonna start with? How many zeros are gonna be in the answer? Show me with your fingers, don't say it out loud. Show me with your fingers. Yes, oh, Bella, look, oh, Bella, what are you, what are you, what are you gonna think? Brantley, good job. Carly, think about it. A lot, not a lot, Amy, not a lot. Yes, good job, Leanna. Yes, Elisa, good job, Natalie. Look, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Whoa. You thought you only knew how to multiply small numbers. Now you know how to multiply big numbers. Okay, with 10. Let's see, this is gonna be a three. Show me. With your fingers, how many zeros are gonna be after that three? Show me. Yes. Amy, how many zeros? Show me with your fingers, how many zeros? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! All right. Let's try another one. All right, let's write this one down. You ready? We're going to start with five times one. Five times a hundred. Five times one thousand. Five times a hundred thousand. It looks a little different from the last one we did. It looks a little different. Write them down. Five times one, five times a hundred. Five times a thousand, five times ten thousand. Does it follow the same pattern? Let's look at it and see. Does it follow the same pattern? Okay, we're going to look and see if it follows the same pattern. Okay, five times one. Everybody knows that. Five times one is five. How many zeros were there? Callie, put that away, please. How many zeros were there? 
Show me. Good job, Amy. There were no zeros. That's right. No zeros. No zeros in the answer. No zeros. Okay, let's look at the next one. How many zeros do we see? One, two. How many are going to be in the answer? Well, one. Whoops. One, two. All right, you do these two. Let me see what you get. Let me see what you get. Yes, friendly, good job. Alexander, hold it up a little closer so I can see. Okay, do the last one too, Alexander. Good job, Lily. Good job, Hunter. Charlie, move it a little closer so I can, Charlie M, move it a little closer so I can see. Look at this one, Charlie. Look at that one. Good job, Bella. Good job, Bella. Charlie, let me see your answers. Yes, Charlie, but I should see your answers. Come on. You should have a whiteboard or a piece of paper. Let's go. Um, Leanna, you got to move it in really close, baby, because it's so light. I can't see it. Do you have a marker that you can write with? Because it would be easier. Good job, Natalie. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Alexander, thank you. Good job, Sophia. Yes, Charlie M, good job. Yes, Hunter, thank you. Lily, what you got for an answer? Anthony, what you got for an answer? Natalie, you have a question? What'd you say? Natalie, what'd you say? Uh, in a minute. In a minute. All righty, so you should have said this one started with a five and then look, one, two, three zeros, one, two, three, 5,000. This one started with a five, then we had one, two, three, four, five zeros, one, two, three, four, five zeros, okay? All right, let's try one more pattern. You're going to have to think about this one. One more pattern. Same thing. Think about it. Okay? You're going to put 10 times five ones. 10 times five tens. 10 times five thousands and ten times five hundred thousands. Okay. Kai, write it down, Kai. Okay, we got 10 times five ones, 10 times five tens, 10 times five thousands, and 10 times five hundred thousands. Put it down on your whiteboard and then solve it. Put it on your whiteboard and then solve it. 
put it on your whiteboard and then solve it. What is 5-1, Samuel? You remember when we did um, the place value chart? And the first column is the ones. This is the tens. This is the hundreds. So if I said I had eight ones, it would look like that. Eight. Okay. Okay. Ten times five ones. Times ten times you gotta think what you have to think what does it mean and how would you get the answer? So you can write the problem like you could you could write down what this means and then solve it. So if, if you were doing it, if I was doing it and I was thinking in my head, this is what I would think in my head. Oh, that means 10 times five. I know 10 times five, 10 times five is 50. That's what I would think in my head, okay? So now you gotta think, okay, so what does that mean? And you can write it down if you want to and then find the answer, or you can do it in your head and find the answer. Very good, Lily. Alexander. Okay. Amy, hold it down a little bit. I didn't skip anything, Samuel. Those are the problems I put up there, buddy. These are the ones I want you to solve. Because we're looking for that pattern of the zeros. We're looking for that pattern of the zeros. Okay, give me thumbs up if you're done. Thumbs down if you need more time. Need more time, need more time. Okay, Ooh, my watch just thought it needs some more time. Okay, let's see how you did. I gotta see them written down. And you solved them. Okay, one more minute. Yes. Okay, let's take a look at it. This one means 10 times five tens is 50. So it's gonna be five and one, two zeros. One, two zeros. Everybody get that? Thumbs up, yes, I got it. Thumbs up, yes, I got it. Super. Okay, this one means 10 times 5,000. So it's gonna be five and one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four zeros. Everybody get that one? 50,000? Yes, super. All right, this one. 10 times 500,000. Oh, what's that gonna be? Let's see. Five and one, two, three, four, five, six zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six. What number is that? What number is that? Five million, that's right, five million. 
Yeah, that would be awesome to have that much money. Five million. All right. All right, is everybody seeing the patterns of zeros? All right, perfect. I am going to let you go. What time will you be back on? Tell me what time. 11 o'clock, okay? You can go do your math right now if you want to, but you gotta be back on at 11, okay? Back on at 11, yes? Can you what? Yeah, if you finish your, you can, you can do your assignments anytime that you want to, just as long as they're done on the day they're supposed to be done. Like today, you have place value day two that you're supposed to do. And if you've already done it, because I know some people have already handed theirs in, then you're free until we meet again at 11, okay? Bye, Kai. See you at 11. Bye, everybody. Yes? Okay. Who has a question? Okay. Okay. Ask your question. Well, because we don't watch Netflix on our school computers. <laughs> okay. Who's asking me? Yes, Leanna, go ahead. Okay, every time before you can sign into Canvas, sweetheart, you have to sign into your email, okay? So sign into your email first and then try to get into your Canvas because it'll be right down in the drop down menu. It'll be in the waffle, okay? So try that first, all right? Okay. Perfect. Yes, Callie, you have a question? What's your question, Callie? Can you what, Kelly? I'm not really sure what you said, Kelly, but we'll be back at 11, okay? All right, see you all. Yeah, you can do your math now. Yeah, you have a math assignment, Alexander. Go look. You'll see it. Place value, day two. All right, bye, all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a perfect time to come in. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, so what's going on in here? All right, here's the problem. <laughs>